All right, we're back, and once again, we're chasing that elusive 3P, baby. Still chasing gold, as always. But as you can see, this episode is going to be a little shorter, mainly because it's going up against Chicago and Hendrix Cobb. You know, for seven years, I've been embarrassing Hendrix Cobb on every level, from high school to college to the pros. Hendrix Cobb hasn't done anything that ever shows me that he and I are on the same level. You know, he hasn't improved. He hasn't gotten better. They aren't winners. He's a loser, and I'm going to continue doing what I do every time I match up against him. So I decided to use this time to focus on something a little more important and that is what can we expect the major changes in gameplay to be for 2k22 now we know that we should get this information within the next 24 to 48 hours i'm gonna say 24 hours within the next 24 hours we should get this information by the time this video go up that information might leak it might already be out there but uh this is what i'm expecting when it comes down to it so as always they focus on offense and break and defense and breaking down how these things are different and how these things should counteract each other one of the things they say is you know breaking down defenders off the dribble with new signature moves and combos precision jump shooting dunking in traffic and pulling off alley oops um all become more skill based now we hear that every single year that everything becomes more skill based and how basketball iq and stick skills are going to matter and play an even bigger role in separating the top players from the casual you know what i'm saying casual competitors right you know and so what do i think that the offense is going to change for real for real we might see some some mainly minor adjustments uh the major thing that i expect to see is like uh either a nerf or just an adjustment overall in the threshold for contact dunks um, I didn't have a problem with it, but I can understand when people play a lot online and you're, you're not able to defend against contact dunking. But I think that most of that is going to change more so on the defensive side. So I don't expect too many major offensive changes. The one that I think that might happen, um, I would be a little upset if it does. And that is the uh, removal of um, shot aiming. I literally, I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing him adjust this so that way, if you think about it like GTA, and GTA, when you play online, you can choose to go into a lobby that has uh, no aiming, assisted aiming, or full aiming on. And I wouldn't mind seeing him do something like that. So like, if you wanna play online with shot aiming enabled, then you can do that. And if you don't wanna, if you wanna play online without shot aiming being enabled, then you have that option to do that. So I wouldn't mind seeing him make that adjustment because I think that that would be what's best. Um, but, you know, majority of the community believes that shot aiming just wasn't good. Like I said, I might be in the minority, but quite frankly, I, it was fun. It was something new, something intriguing, uh, and it was something that changed the way I played the game. So I wouldn't mind seeing them improve upon it. But we all know that they asked the question early in the year, focusing on shot aiming and whether they want to see a return. The majority, a massive majority said uh, no. Um, so I wouldn't mind seeing at least it still be available in my career, even if they take it off in the offline mode and online modes. Cool. Um, the next thing uh, is, of course, the, the defense. To me, that's where I think the major changes are going to occur. Um, mainly because if you remember early early in the year or late last year, um, Mike Wang had been asked about contact dunks and how there's no ability to, you know, contest contact dunks. Like you just have to take it. And so Mike Wang did mention how, ooh, good God, I just got dunked on. You see what I'm saying? I just had to take that. Wow. Um, and how he talked about how there was no they, they were working on ways to implement, you know, defensive abilities that will allow you to contest contact dunks. Um, and so I'm guessing that that's going to be one of the big major changes that we're going to see, the major new features that we're going to see um, in 2K22. And so uh, give you a quick example. They said a completely revamped shot contest and blocking system highlight to highlight an arsenal of new defensive tools at your disposal. Playing suffocating defense on the perimeter and in the paint has never felt more rewarding, giving elite defenders the ability to truly change the outcome of the game. Now, what's the problem that's going to come from that? I think that what's going to come from that is that people are going to find an uh, easy shot to use, an uh, uh, easy shot to uh, hit with, and then you're just going to see a whole bunch of lockdown defenders in the game. I mean, we, that happens every, every other year. You know, they add something to defense and then all of a sudden now you just got a ton of lockdown defenders that can shoot the mid range or even shoot the three semi effectively. And at the end of the day, you just got a community that's going to be upset one way or the other. I don't really worry about it too much. I'm still gonna, always going to play my way. Uh, and that's that's how some people ooh, give me that. You see what I'm saying? Chasing it down, throwing it off the glass. Uh, and, and it's always going to be it's always going to be a part of the community that's just like that where, you know, 
they'll they'll want the balance to feel like it it favors them a little bit better and it's understandable it's a trial and error kind of thing but i think that the one thing we got to do is at least give it give it a month before we start really focusing on whether it needs to be tweaked or whether we just need to master some of the new advanced uh control setups okay um now i would love to see uh contested shot blocking you know what i'm saying um we see snatch blocking they toned that down this year it still exists but they toned it down and that's something that they always you know tried to tweak and get just right so that way snatch blocking isn't just happening all the time uh but having the proper skills should matter and so hopefully because of all these adjustments that they'll make they realize that one of the things they need to look at is um steel ability um blocking ability and truly weight it a little bit better for the defender and the offender that they're checking you know what i'm saying like i'm hoping that the weight the, the, and i ain't talking about the weight of the player i'm talking about i'm hoping that the weight of the steel ability takes into the account of the ball handler's ability as well uh even better than it ever has and so hopefully that's what we get from these adjustments and gameplay i'm taking guesses as to what i plan on seeing but i didn't want to just leave that out there it was something that was going through my mind and i figured hey what better way to do it than talk about it during one of my shorter my career episodes and everything like that that's my that's my whole take on it um and just a quick quick update on everything else so most of the stuff that is going to be new in 2k22 won't re be revealed until the end of august and the first week of september it says it in the in the first preview um uh course i report but when it comes down to things like the seasons and when it comes down to my team and when it comes down to gameplay that all should be coming out with uh i'm guessing gameplay should be out within the next 24 hours and then i'm guessing we end the week with my team and seasons information or we end the week with my team and then in next week with seasons or seasons and then my team or they both come together i think that they should come together because seasons is something that's going to apply to my team uh my nba the w and my career so I think that, you know, you should just go ahead and, and reveal the season's information with the My Team stuff, but they might separate it just to give people a little bit more of a of a longer read, um, or if they feel like the read might be too long, it's a better way of saying, okay, we're gonna put the season's information in, in one in one joint, and we're gonna put the, uh, we're gonna put the My Team information in another one. And to me, I think that that pays homage to everything. So I think we'll see the My Team come out uh, at the end of next week. Oh, uh, the beginning of the week following, because we only got a couple weeks left in uh in August, so it's really just about how long it's going to take them to uh to truly get that information out there. And I truly think that the gameplay comes tomorrow morning, if not today. For all I know, I'll drop this video, and today they would have already uh, dropped the information on gameplay changes and everything like that. In that case, I'll go over it, and if it's something worth talking about, I'll put another video out there for you guys. But uh, for the next episode, we're getting back to we're getting back to my career chasing that elusive three P. Like I said, going up against Hendricks Cobb is no longer a challenge to me. He doesn't. He, he's never been on my level. He'll never be on my level. And so I thought I'd just go ahead and use this highlight footage, this TV game, to talk about some two. K22 news and how just like you all I'm looking forward to seeing what they actually plan on doing with the new product and uh, I think they're being more adamant about it mainly because people say the same thing when you read the when you read the blogs when you see the videos you say I'll believe it when I see it so I'll believe it when I see it but I'm still looking forward to seeing what they got up their sleeve for 2k I'm gonna catch you guys next time